now we are going to start with a new unit that is the electricity now you all are familiar with the electricity as you all know that electricity plays an important role like you all uh, are crazy for watching tv tv runs only by electricity moreover you use uh, hair dryers you use uh, this thing uh, tube lights fans acs they are all they all run on electricity so that means electricity plays a very important role so in this unit we are going to study that what an electricity is what is the criteria that some substances conduct electricity and some do not so we are going to study in detail that what actually the electricity is and you know that it is a very interesting unit because see whenever you are studying about anything which is around you or which you are using to a great extent so it is a great uh, you can say a feeling of learning that so we are going to start with electricity you know that from where this concept of electricity came actually so first thing you should know that from where this concept of electricity came see earlier there were no uh, you know that earlier there were no tube lights there were no bulbs there were lanterns and all like that but still you know that electricity came into view how it came you know that friction you know first uh, you should know that what actually is friction friction is rubbing of two bodies friction is rubbing of two bodies the first uh, the first thing like uh, which uh, led to the uh, development of electricity was the friction only so you know that uh, it was uh, like in the uh, in the early ages what it was concluded that rubbing of two bodies can produce electricity rubbing of two bodies can actually produce electricity because they consist of atom and atom contains you know that negatively charged particle electrons so whenever we rub them those negatively charged particle moves from one one substance to the another so that that causes the flow of uh, charges from where we came to know that uh, that yes this can this type of phenomena can also be there so you should know that anything uh, which we talk about is formed of atom and atom contain positive charge here and negative charges are here so whenever you rub two things suppose i take silk rod sorry glass rod and we rub it with silk what happened when we rub both of them so there is a friction this led to the production of electricity because uh, what happened the atoms of glass rod loses an electron these electrons flow from glass rod to silk and so that means glass rod is losing electron and silk is gaining that now one which loses electron acquires positive charge and the other that gains electron acquires negative charge because the net negative charge is increasing and in this the negative charge is decreasing otherwise if we talk about atom it is neutral there is equal number of positive and negative charges right so whenever it is losing electrons so this is exceeding therefore it acquires a positive charge so whenever it is gaining negative charge so that means this is exceeding so that is why it is acquiring a negative charge similarly if we rub ebonite rod with wool then what happens Elect, we, we rub both of them in the same way we rub glass rod and silk we see that electrons move from wool to ebonite rod and it always happen in the same way it, it's not like that that i'm doing here so the electrons are moving from glass rod to silk you do, do another day it is moving from silk to rod no it's like not like that so whenever you will be rubbing glass rod with silk electrons will be moving from glass rod to silk and whenever you are rubbing ebonite rod with wool electrons will be moving from wool to ebonite rod so that means it will acquire a positive charge and it will acquire a negative charge so whenever you connect these kind of things to a cell or a battery so that means there will be a flow of electric current whenever we'll connect suppose i take glass rod i take glass rod and i take a silk and by means of wire suppose this is a cell right i connect with it so we see that that uh, electrons uh, current is going to flow from glass rod to silk because we saw that electrons were moving from glass rod to it so current will flow from glass rod to silk so this is what is the uh, you can say the introduction for the electricity and moreover now i think you got it that how friction can produce electricity just rubbing of two bodies just disturb the uh, this thing the electron distribution and they get moved from one place to another the one which is losing acquire positive charge the one which is gaining acquire negative charge so this this is how it happens so that means if somebody ask you about electric current how you are going to define it it is 
रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और यू कैन से नेगेटिव चार्ज सो इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और नेगेटिव चार्ज सो दिस इज वॉट इट इट हैपन्स लाइक दिस सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वॉट आर द मेन सोर्सेज फ्रॉम विच वी कैन एक्चुअली गेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लाइक वी आर गेटिंग द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वॉट आर द मेन सोर्सेज फ्रॉम विच वी आर गेटिंग द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और लाइक हाउ वी कैन जेनरेट इट ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल वी आर जेनरेटिंग इन हाइडल पावर प्लांट वी आर जेनरेटिंग इट इन हाइडल पावर प्लांट we are generating it in nuclear power plants this is nuclear where we are using the radioactive materials the very harmful materials like uranium 235 and uh, we can generate it in thermal power plant so in both in the three of the plants we are generating uh, the electricity on large scale in hydel power plant how we are generating we are just making use of the kinetic energy of water as we know that water the water is stored here the the gates are closed we just uh, let the gates open the water flows with a high speed and when it flows with a high speed there is a turbine which is attached it just runs the turbine and when the turbine is run so this is what what we need actually and the electricity is generated so here we are making use of kinetic energy of water in nuclear power plant we are making use of nuclear fuel a radioactive substance as i told you like uranium 235 235 is its mass number and thermal power plant we are making use of coal uh now this thing um, coal etc we are making use of coal etc we are burning them and uh, the energy produced is just run, used to run the turbines but if we talk about so th this is we are generating on a large scale but if we talk about on a small scale that to how we are getting electricity how we are like what is the source of electricity for us so it is it is a cell or a battery a common cell is dry cell which is being used it can be a dynamo that is generator electric generator it can be uh, this thing um, mains of electricity department what we are getting like they are generating electricity on this part and they are just supplying at your homes and uh, moreover it can be solar cell which is working on solar energy now we'll be discussing all of them in detail that how we are how we get uh, electricity from all those uh, the cell dynamo the mains and the solar cell so we are just going to discuss here so this was the basic introduction so just look at the board carefully now